my dear child god remind us that our relationship with him is not based on our efforts or decisions god who took the initiative to choose us he saw us knew us and called us into his family this truth fills us with a deep sense of gratitude and humility and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit not only has god chosen us but he has also appointed us to a purpose we are called to bear fruit in our lives fruit that reflects his love grace and truth so this means living in a way that shows others the character of christ and bring glory to god and that your fruit should remain the fruit we bear is meant to have a lasting impact It is not about temporary achievements or fleeting successes. So God wants the work we do in his name to have a eternal significance. When we live out our faith, the fruit of our efforts endures and continue to influence others long after we are gone. that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give you this is assured us that when we pray in his name the father hear us the promise is rooted in our relationship with him and our alignment with his will as we seek to be a fruit for god's kingdom our prayers are powerful and effective as we reflect on this verse tonight let's remember that we are chosen by god appointed to be a lasting fruit and given the privilege of asking in jesus name let this fruit empower us to live purposefully pray confidently and trust deeply in God's plan for our lives as you rest tonight remember that you are chosen and appointed by God so your life has a divine purpose and your prayers are heard rest in his love and continue to be a fruit that remains so my child know that god is the creator he is good lovely admirable and praise worthy how can he not be a sure and steady source of joy Imagine a box with holes in it placed over a bright light each ray shining through is just a fragment of the light inside dull in comparison to the source The joy of knowing God is like that bright light while our earthly happiness is like those smaller rays though they pale in comparison to god they are still valuable gifts made even more meaningful when we recognize they come from god's goodness we often fight so hard to find a sense of happiness belongings or pleasure so while also fighting to hold on to what we imagine our relationship with god should look like 
but in searching for happiness we often miss the deeper joy and security he offer us jesus says come to me all you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest his yoke is easy and his burden is light in him we find security and to him we belong so my child note that the universe is once again reminding you and encouraging you to own your light and strut as your sovereign self unapologetically the higher road is not conforming or being the bigger person it is instead saying enough the higher road is coming your divine birth right and refusing to give your power away so you are not alone at all you have an army of angels backing you and congratulating you for being your authentic self in this lifetime so during this transitional paradigm shift you are the chosen one so my child know that what do you owe yourself for starters forgiveness for all the unnecessary hardships you put yourself through while you learn from every lesson there have been some additional courses you could have done without so you owe yourself a lot more moments of peace to balance out all the moments you worried so you owe yourself the ability to not only dream big but to manifest big you owe yourself space to sit with your emotions and allow them to seep through you until they have resolved so you owe it to yourself to harness your strength what do you owe yourself ask then deliver on those promises if there is anything to be manifested let it be what you deserve of yourself first you are worthy of it all so without the commitment to living your dreams you would have never started without faith you would have never keep moving forward so without experiencing what you don't want you would have never define what you want so without experiencing a lack you would have never developed your need for more without consistency you would have never finished without problems you never would have the pleasure of creating solutions type yes if you have faith and trust in jesus and if you want your all wishes comes through type amen and please subscribe this channel